Hold up and coming. Lisa, I swear, if you're only just now showing up, then I am never letting you live this down, you ca Cute. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> well, yeah, we invited you, but we didn't think you'd actually come to a sleepover. <laughs> uh, whatever, I'm flexible. Come on in, hot stuff. Make yourself at home, buddy. You're the first and only other person here, so, uh, it'll probably just be the two of us. You think you'll be okay staying here with me alone tonight? <laughs> Don't know yet, huh? Fair enough. Here, have a seat. Sorry that the room's a mess. I wasn't expecting to have actual company tonight. I thought I would just be us girls. Instead, though, I guess I just get you. <sighs> so, why'd you take us up on the invite? Yes, thanks for noticing. I am sitting very close to you. I like doing that. Why? Well, you haven't made much eye contact with me ever since you saw me in my PJs, so I'm assuming you think I'm hot, right? A lot of guys think that. I'm really flattered by it, you know? I like compliments and stuff. I know there's a good reason to not want guys staring a lot, and, you know, I get it, male gaze and all that. Very nasty stuff, but I like the attention as long as it's not intrusive or rude. Like, yeah, I'm hot! I work hard at staying hot, so I like the attention. <sighs> but anyway, it's really fun for me to mess with cute guys who think I'm hot by sitting really close to them. You know, make your heart rate increase, get a little sweaty, all that good stuff. What? What's that look for? Uh, yeah, I said you're cute. Duh. Dude, we always invite a cute rando to these sleepovers just to fill an extra seat. We just never expect them to actually, you know, show up. It's like a tradition a, or a ritual. <laughs> I've had your name in the hat. For months. But, of course, as soon as you finally show up, none of the other girls are here. Ah, oh, typical. Hmm, <laughs> about the girls here, I don't really know what we're gonna do for the night. Any ideas? Well, normally, we just do the normal stuff. Order pizza, watch movie, play games, get drunk and complain about people we don't like. You know, the usual. But with you here, I don't know. We never actually really planned for that. If it were my guess, I would say we'd probably do much of the same. Except a couple of us would probably be playfully flirty and stuff until you get comfortable enough doing it back. Just so that we could break the ice and get the usual vibes off to a good start. <laughs> I mean, we invite people we think are cute, so it's actually pretty hard to not be flirty around them. But, since it's just you and I, <laughs> oh my god, dude, 
the absolute terror in your eyes when I said that. Jeez. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. We're just gonna have fun. Just the two of us, okay? Good boy. <laughs> just relax, okay? You get to spend the evening with a hot girl. And you now already know that she thinks you're cute too. <laughs> There's like literally no downside to this for you. And since you're too busy trying to think straight after the apparent surprising revelation that a girl thinks you're cute, I've decided that we're going to watch a movie. Well, yeah, I'm cuddling. You're comfy. <laughs> Are you still having trouble processing the whole I think you're cute thing or something? We're watching a movie. You're comfy. You're cute. You're very, very warm. And it's my sleepover, so I get to pick what we do. I picked movie and cuddling. Oh, I forgot I had chips. Mm -hmm. You want some? You sure? They're flaming hot. Okay, big guy. More for me. Mm. Oh my god. Dude, you're still as stiff as a board. Why don't you relax? Are you like waiting for me to suddenly yell surprise and reveal that this has all been a prank or something? I literally don't have the attention span to be able to pull that off. I'd be giggling the whole time. Trust me. Besides... I offered you my flaming hot chips. I don't do that for just anybody, you know? Why is it so hard to believe that I like you and just chill? <sighs> Why do you guys always ask that? Oh, what about you do I find cute? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. People always ask for, like, an itemized list of why I think they're interesting or cool or cute or whatever. Like, there's some set of objective qualities that make them objectively cute or something. There isn't. I literally just like your vibe, you know? Like, what if I asked you right now? What about me do you find cute? See, I can already see the gears in your head turning to try to turn vague ideas into words or to find obvious physical traits to describe. You don't think I'm hot because I have particularly attractive cheekbones that indicate my suitability as a potential romantic interest or some nonsense like that. You're just like my vibe and that's fine. <sighs> Okay, I'm not spending the whole night with a nervous wreck. Wait, what are you doing? No, I don't want you to leave you. Oh, oh my god. Listen, 
you incredibly cute idiot. You do not get to ruin my sleepover. You're staying here with me so that I can dote on you and tease you and make you blush because you are simultaneously the most obtuse and most adorable guy that I've ever had the pleasure of reducing to a nervous puddle in my living room. Now, do as I say and lay down on the couch. Nuh-uh, don't worry what I'm doing, just do as I say. Let me just find a... Uh, there it is. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm going to relax you so much that you pass out. That way, I can use you as a pillow. What? Again with that weird look. You act like a lot of girls wouldn't demand to use your sleeping body as a pillow if they had the confidence that I do. Uh, I guess that I just want it more. Be shy. I'm not judging. I know you won't try anything bad with us. You're a good guy. That's part of what I like about you. I think. I mean, <laughs> you could do with a bit more confidence in the telling me I'm pretty department, of course. But you seem sweet. And you're really cute.
What's that one trope where the shy introvert gets dragged around by the manic extrovert? That's gonna be us. <laughs> you know, once you take me on a date. What? <laughs> of course, this isn't a date, silly. It's a sleepover, remember? You don't get a free pass to call it a date. And there are supposed to be more people here? That's cheating. Nope. You gotta ask me out tomorrow. If it helps, I'm pretty sure the answer will be yes. Yeah. And no smoochy smoochy or anything tonight. No, no. I know guys think girls practice making out of sleepovers for some reason, but we don't. So we won't. Because we're not dating yet. Until you ask me. Tomorrow. And I say yes, and then we go out. Then you can like mm, me, you know? Oh, sir, did you just peck me on the cheek? And after I clearly stated that there will be no kissing? <laughs> kind of cute, though. Nice job taking a little initiative there, hot stuff. Here, we'll call it even. Mm. Mm. There, all squared up. And now that I've gotten your heart beating a mile a minute, hey, I'm not being vain. I can feel your pulse, dude. Now, as I was saying, now that you're all excited, I've got to calm you back down again. Just slow your breathing and relax. I'll make sure that you get to sleep. I need my pillow after all. But one thing though, you won't be telling people that my girls didn't show up to the sleepover, right? Because that would be really awkward because, you know, I have that reputation that I'm really popular and lots of people love me and my friends are all big fans of me and stuff, so I really hope that it's gonna stay between us, you know? I need that trust as well if we're gonna be a couple tomorrow and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And before you think this was some plot that I was just going to invite just to get you here like you were the only person I sent invites to, no, I, I'm the first person to admit I did invite my friends as well as you, but this was a really unexpected situation, but I'm not mad really that my friends didn't show up. I'm actually kind of happy that no one else came. And I really hope no one else comes now, or are they like, coming late, because I do want you all to myself now. I want you, and only you. I just want this to just be between us, us spending the night together like this. And if my friends did come, not gonna lie, a few do have a crush on you and they were planning to ask you out this Valentine's Day. Ugh. But luckily, like, <laughs> I have a big IQ and not an invited you and this kind of happened, so I got there before them. But even if they did ask you out, I'm pretty sure you'd say no anyway and that, oh, you guys are totally not my type because I'm your type. I just know I am. I see the way you look at me at class sometimes, like the little glints you give me. Yeah, I did kind of thought on to that, yeah. <laughs> you think I didn't? Because I certainly do notice. I do notice the gay. Sorry, kind of gay. I get it a lot. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't mind it coming from you. I really don't. Since, you know, we're totally a couple tomorrow. We're totally dating tomorrow. We're going on our romantic date. And, you know, I'm planning already in my head as I'm trying to get you to sleep what kind of date it's gonna be because it's gonna be Valentine's Day and 
And a lot of restaurants may have booked their tables because, you know, a special day for everyone. So we might be a little late to find a good restaurant to have our first date. So I was thinking just like one of those cute park dates where we go on a little stroll, we set down the blanket and have a little picnic and go for ice cream. That was one of the ideas that I have in my mind right now. That, because, you know, it won't be busy. So, you know, we'll have more time to get to know each other, have a little chit-chat, because I know we don't really know, know each other so much, but we'll get, we will get to know each other. <laughs> and I'm like sleepovers as well, that we would stay up way longer than this, but I want you to sleep, because I want you to be refreshed to take me on this fucking day. I want you to be refreshed for this date tomorrow, you know? We're gonna be like the hottest couple ever. Like, we need the effort. I'm even gonna like pick up clothes, like pick out some clothes for you. We're gonna go shopping. Oh my god, it's gonna be great. Uh, and in all honesty, this sleepover has been way more interesting with the girls. Not like, oh, we're doing each other's makeup, we do each other's hair. No, this has been the most entertaining one so far. And that's saying something. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you look so cute when you sleep as well. And you look so sweet as well when you're sleeping like this. And it makes it even better knowing that I was the one that did that. I was the one that made you sleep like that. Mm -hmm. oh, just so cute. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I might even take a photo of it. It's just so cute. It's gonna be my new background. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, this is kind of making me sleepy too though. <laughs> How cute if we just like fall asleep together. And I will just keep doing this until I eventually want to fall asleep right with you. <laughs> hmm. And I know you're also thinking, what would my parents think seeing me sleeping next to a guy? Well, they're totally chill with it. Like, totally. <laughs> they know I'm like. Dating for fun, you know, like dating to be finding so many people and just only bored of you. Time for the next day. No, I date to find my potential partner for life. You know, I'm not settling for fun. I want something serious. You know, I'm not throwing myself around or anything like that. But you're just really, really cute. So. 